I'm going to keep going with this Wilder fanboy shit. I know you guys are getting upset about this. Because I know a lot of my subscribers are from the UK, but... You guys should know me by now. My channel is unpredictable. Sometimes I'm rooting for a guy. Other times I'm not. I'm a Sith Lord at the end of the day. Now, when it comes to skill for skill, I think Deontay Wilder is not as skillful as Anthony Joshua. I don't think he's as skillful as him when it comes to overall technique. But one thing he has better than Anthony Joshua is he has better endurance. He doesn't gas out. And in my opinion, I think he is a bigger puncher. Anthony Joshua is a guy that walks around at 250 pounds. Wilder is a very light uh, heavyweight. He only weighs 200, uh, 220 pounds. So he weighs like 30 pounds lighter than Anthony Joshua. Yet he has, in my opinion, more one-punch knockout power. That tells you how vicious he is. He's not even a big heavyweight, and he has one-punch knockout power. I think he's he has more of a punching power than Anthony Joshua. When it comes to endurance, like I said, I think he has better endurance. I've seen Anthony Joshua gas out several times when it goes past eight rounds. Wilder's never gassed out. I also think he's faster on his foot when it comes to foot speed. This is what I've been saying. Even though I'm picking Anthony Joshua, if this fight goes the this you know goes to over six rounds and Anthony Joshua's still there and he starts gassing out, that's when he's gonna be in trouble with Wilder. And like I saw a video that Hatman Strikes Back did a uh, shout out to Hatman Strikes Back. Uh he said in his video that he's interested to see how Anthony I mean how Deontay Wilder approaches this fight. Is he gonna Fight off the back foot to make what the you know it go long round so maybe he could tire out someone like Anthony Joshua or is he just gonna go forward? To me, I'm interested too because I think Wilder can give Anthony Joshua problems if he ha ha has the fight go past you know eight nine rounds because Anthony Joshua has a habit of gassing out. And also, I think he'll give Wilder problems if he actually just brings. I mean, if he if he actually also think that he'll give. Excuse me, the, the, uh, Anthony Joshua problems if he just brings the fight towards him. If he literally just goes after him, because in, against Stavern, like I know Stavern is not Anthony Joshua. I know that. I get it. You know, Stavern was just a sitting duck. But in the Stavern fight, Wilder just came right after him, throwing that jab. He was being very aggressive to uh, Anthony Joshua. I mean, to Berman Stavern. And then he landed that one too. I'm telling you right now. I, I find it comical because I've, I've seen some Anthony Joshua fans. Oh, he can't. He can't KO Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua has a history of being knocked down. This guy, you know, how many times have I heard? You know, yeah, and, and yes, I'm not saying that Wilder has, and Wilder has a history of being knocked down as well. But how many times have we heard? Anthony Joshua been dropped by inspiring. Anthony Joshua got, got dropped by 17-year-old Daniel DeBoss, a, a prospect, a 17-year-old teenager. Inspiring. He got dropped by David Price. He got dropped, he got wobbled by Dillian White. In the amateurs, he was wobbled several times. He was dropped by Vladimir Klesko. He has been dropped several times in the amateurs and sparring. And even in, and he's been wobbled in the professional fight. So in my opinion, he doesn't have the best uh he I'm not saying he's a con of conscience, but in my opinion, it's pretty evident that. His chin is a little suspect, suspect kind of like uh, Tyson Fury's chin. And I'm telling you, if he land, I, I'm interested to see what happens if he lands that one-two. If Wilder lands that one-two on Anthony Joshua's chin. Remember, Vladimir Klitschko dropped Anthony Joshua with that one-two. Never forget that, guys. A lot of people forget that. All right? I'm telling you, man. Wilder is fast. He's so much faster than Anthony Joshua. Again, in terms of skill technique, he's not as good as Anthony Joshua, okay? He's not. But in terms of speed, he's faster. And I, like I said, I think he's more of a one-punch knockout artist. It's kind of like when you look at Gennady Golovkin and uh, Sergey Kovalev. I always felt that Gennady Golovkin and Sergey Kovalev were big punchers, but I always felt like someone like Sergey Kovalev had one-punch knockout power, while someone like Gennady Golovkin was more of a guy that wore you down, you know? This kind of how I feel with someone like Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. I think Anthony Joshua, they're both big punches, but I think Wilder has more of a one-punch KO power. While uh, Joshua is more of a guy that he has to wear you down. You know? Again. This is fascinating for me. And, th and this is why people have to understand. I'm not People think I'm a Wilder hater. And now they're going to think I'm a Wilder fanboy. They're going to think I'm a Wilder fanboy now. Oh, yeah. They're going to think I'm a Wilder fanboy because that's the way YouTube works. 
You criticize Deontay Wilder. You're a, you're a Wilder hater. You're a Wilder hater. You're a Wilder hater. You you start giving Wilder credit. Oh, you're a fanboy. You're a typical American. You're a typical American. Mm, typical American. Typical Yank. That's the that's the way YouTube works. You praise Anthony Joshua. Oh, you're you're a fanboy. Anthony Joshua fanboy. You you discredit Anthony Joshua. Oh, you're typical typical American. I used to care about these comments that people would leave me calling me a typical American and all this stuff and I would try to play up to my subscribers but I stopped caring about that a long time ago and this is why you see me making controversial videos like this always remember this channel is a is is a Star Wars themed channel it's a Sith Lord themed deep uh theme channel and I'm always going to be a controversial channel it's just my theme as I've explained in a video before okay I'm always going to be that guy that one day I might do a 360 and change my entire opinion of a fighter. Just like I'm doing right now with Wilder. I am a Wilder fan. I've always been a Wilder fan. It's just you guys haven't seen it because I've been very critical of him. But again, just because you criticize a fan doesn't mean you can't be a fan of the guy. You know, I criticize Dillian White all the time, but if Dillian White were to just KO Deontay Wilder in 90 seconds, I'll be praising Dillian White. I'll be like, yo, Dillian White's a, he the bomb, dude. He the bomb. If if Dillian White were to rematch Anthony Joshua and kill him, I'll be praising him. If he were to beat Jerrell Miller, I'll be praising him. But some people just think I'm a hater of Dillian White. I'm not. I just, just, I just feel this way about him because I don't think he's as good as people think he is. I think he's overrated. But like I said, I'll, I'll do a 360 on him just like I'm doing with Wilder if he were to like start beating these guys. I'm doing a 360 with Wilder because I've always been a fan of Wilder. And because I, even though I knew he was going to beat Stavern, I liked what I saw from Wilder. To me, he showed more, he showed improvements. You know, he showed improvements with finishing off his opponents. And it, it was exciting. That little 90 second, I mean, 90 second kill was more exciting than Anthony Joshua's last fight. Let's be real. It was. It was more vicious, definitely. You know? And again, you know, I people think are gonna think I'm a fanboy. You know, I don't care anymore, man. Cause you, you get anyone who's been watching me long enough will know that I go, change my ways, my views of fighters instantaneously, like that, like that. You know, again, I, I, I am about resume, but I also get excited if I see vicious kills. You know what I'm saying? Uh. And that's a lot to say, my guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this video. If you guys agree with me, if you guys don't, you guys probably won't agree with me. You won't agree with me because the majority of my fans are UK subscribers, and they a lot of them. Let's be real, a lot of UK uh, uh, boxing fans don't like Wilder. And I know this because I have a channel, and I and I could see, I could see the comment sections on my channel and the comments I receive. You know, so yeah, not saying all of them are like that, but a lot of them. So I'll say, guys, I'm out. My guys, out. Bye.